Hello, my name is Sandy Graves. I am the owner and designer and the manufacturer of Seahead and Boone John custom portable composting toilets. I wanted to make this video just to give everybody a brief overview of the Seahead and how it works. The Seahead is designed for mobile types of applications such as sailboats, travel trailers, RVs, and tractor trailers. The Boone John is designed for fixed applications such as cabins, homesteads, and bunkers. To begin with, you can see this is the basic white model, finished white on the outside. The toilet is slab sided, which makes it really easy to keep clean. The outside finish is phenolic plastic, commonly known by brand names such as Formica or Wilson Art. You have a heavy duty toilet seat with heavy-duty hinges and stainless steel fasteners. Let me give you a brief overview of how the toilet works and then we'll go back through it piece by piece. As you can see, it's basically a box and a bucket as people like to say. More correctly, a box, a jug, and a bucket. But it's a little more complex than that. The Seahead and Boone John are urine diverting toilets. That is to say that when you use the bathroom, the solid waste and the liquid waste are separated at the time of use. The sea head is made completely of plastic except for the toilet seat which is a wood fiber plastic impregnated product. All of the fittings on the sea head are stainless steel. However, the Boone John may use nickel plated hardware and non stainless steel fasteners. When I open the sea head, to expose the interior, you can see that we basically have the funnel, the housing lid, the housing, the solid waste collection container, and the urine collection container, which is a common one gallon water jug. There are a lot of advantages to using a one gallon jug, not the least of which is they're virtually free. But when they become contaminated with scale, you can simply throw them away and replace it with a new one. You can also, when it becomes full, cap it off, set it aside, and install a new one until you can find a location where you can dispose of it. The solid waste collection container is a modified five gallon bucket. As you can see, it has a handle for lifting it in and out, and inside there is a churning mechanism, which is a single vein located in the bottom Emptying the sea head is extremely simple. You simply open the housing lid, remove the collection containers, and either cap and seal this one and replace it. Once you've emptied the contents of either one of the containers, simply rinse them out, put them back into place. <clears throat> the side window here shows you just how full the one gallon urine collection container is and lets you know when it's time to empty it. The funnel, as you see, separates the urine from the solid waste. The solid waste falls through this opening here into the solid waste collection container and the funnel directs the urine into the one gallon jug. This is a ordinary household toilet seat. It does, however, have heavy duty hinges. There's a hole drilled in here to accommodate the churn handle. Now, many people want to know how the separation of the waste takes place. As you can see, the funnel directs the urine down into the one gallon jug, while the opening in the back allows the solid waste to fall directly into the solid waste collection container. So basically it works like this. You raise the lid, you set the ceiling lid back here, you sit down, you do your business. When you're done, you return the ceiling lid to its place. You close the lid and you insert the churn handle into the hole and then turn the mixture approximately 15 times, 10 to 15 times. What that does is demonstrated in, in this short video.
When you're done churning, if you're right-handed, stop at the 3 o'clock position. If you're left-handed, stop at the 6 o'clock position. This makes it easy to rekey the churn handle every time you insert it. The back of the C head on the box model has a panel. This panel can be removed if you're going to use a toilet cabinet. You can vent the system through here and you can also run the plumbing on those C heads that use the EUD or external urine diverter. The external urine diverter allows you to divert the urine directly from the toilet into a larger tank or a septic field or drain field outside the house or cabin or bunker. As you can see with the sea head, this is a marine grade toilet. We use all stainless steel fasteners, heavy duty stainless steel hinges, heavy duty hinges on the toilet seat. On the side here you'll notice we have a hook. This is for the rubber latch tie down system if you should decide to use this to anchor your toilet. On boats it is required by the Coast Guard that the toilet be anchored so that it doesn't become a missile if you have a collision or if you capsize. One other feature I want to point out is you'll notice there's a snap mechanism here that allows you to open the housing by simply lifting the toilet seat. To get to clean underneath you simply snap it loose like this, do your cleaning, turn it back into place, snap it back down. This will happen automatically when you sit on the toilet.